society and who like just the world tells you you are but just like knowing your value and your worth as a person you know and so it's like well where do I get that value from well for us personally we find our identity in Christ so basically people might say you know you're not you know, you're not pretty enough, you're not like light enough, you're not tall enough, you're not old enough. There's none of those limits on you, like once you like really know who you are. At the end of the day, people might reject you, people might hate on you, people might talk about you behind your yeah, back. They will. They will. Yeah, they will. And so like if you don't know who you are, like you're not gonna have that ground like basis on like who to like like call yourself who to like identify as and so I feel like just um remembering that and like um like there's certain scriptures that can like help you to like remember your identity but um that's something that's like absolutely the core because once you know who you are then your personality is going to shine more and you're going to know like hey like I actually mean something to someone and I am actually like I'm actually like making a difference in people's lives just by being who I am and so just going off of that your personality is like automatically going to be like popular. The next tip is to reject any negative or critical thoughts about yourself. Now to do this it's kind of like brain training because you literally have to train yourself to think of yourself in a different way than you might actually feel. So what might help you is to set aside time every day to have a paradigm shift to change the way you think about yourself like wake up and look at yourself make that be like the first thing you do in the morning and just say three things that you really like about yourself and then after you do that you can tell yourself like you can just tell yourself who you want to be and then when you keep doing that over and over, eventually you're going to believe it. And I know that it's going to be hard to believe it at first because a lot of things on the outside is, you know, social media society is just telling you different things. But it's like when you're the one saying it and you say it out loud and hear yourself say it, it's going to get implanted into you. So those are just a couple of tips on how to like just stop the negative thoughts and comments but trust me it'll help you with your mental health it'll help you with like basically everything because the better you think and feel about yourself the better you will perform and just do in everything you do yeah just adding on to that like um what was I gonna say so yeah you have to kind of recognize which which thoughts are healthy and which ones aren't because if you don't realize like you're continuing to think unhealthy thoughts it's just going to be like a downward spiral so like whenever you rec like you have to kind of like try to be more aware of what your thoughts are or what you're saying about yourself or to yourself and when you recognize like hey maybe this isn't healthy or helpful for me like is this thing that i'm saying about myself actually benefiting me building myself up and if it's not then you don't accept that thought you just reject it and that's something that I've had to do for myself and over time I've definitely improved so it's something that you kind of have to practice and like just build a habit on. So the next tip is to treat people like you would treat yourself. So this is something that I've had to work on and it's so so important. So let's just take an example like how would you want to be treated? like? I know you may not have the best self-image, but you know how you deserve to be treated deep down, like you know. You would want like someone to be kind to you, someone to give you gifts, someone to like tell you that they think you're special. 
And so when you do that to yourself, you take the time to really care for yourself and value yourself, and that's really gonna help your personality shine. And so, yeah, just like, think like when you see other people you come across other people just imagine them as yourself and think about like let's say this is this person like i want to make them feel comfortable i want to make them feel loved i want to make them feel valuable and when you like come across people that way you're actually you're literally loving yourself when you love people that way so you're actually like benefiting yourself when you do that Sometimes it's hard because I know like not everybody, you don't vibe with everybody, but your inner beauty is just flowing out of you basically. And so that's another way that you can really improve your personality. The next tip is don't put yourself in a box or be afraid of changing. Don't do that. Do that. Don't do Don't do it. Don't do it right. So for you to grow, for you to be the best that you can be, you can't be stagnant. Mm -hmm. So when you have yourself in a box, basically putting yourself in a box means to put limits on your abilities. Yeah. It's basically saying, this is the most I can do and I can't change. And I admit, like, I am kind of dealing with that right now because something that I struggle with is laziness and procrastination. So I kind of did put myself in a box and I say, I'm so used to being lazy and being late to everything. I'm so used to it that this is just a part of me. And that goes back to the other tip that we just gave. It's that you can't keep like thinking this thought about yourself. Like you have to cancel the negative thoughts. That was a negative thought. So what I have to do is say like, I don't have to set this limit on myself and say that I can't change, to say that I can be better, that I can be productive, that I can do things earlier instead of waiting till the last minute. So once you just take off those limitations, you're going to go so far. It's going to be crazy. So just make sure that you... But before you even like get yourself out of the box, you have to recognize that you are in that condition. And I think a good way to do that is to just look at the way you do things and notice what's constant, you know, like a bad habit that you keep doing. And even if it's not a bad habit, it could just be like, I feel like my relationship with so-and-so is never going to get better. That's putting yourself in a box because like you're just setting that limitation so basically there's no limits oh you kind of basically t like stole my tip like <laughs> the one yeah oh uh, i was just saying to just um i mean i was talking about like kind of speaking affirmations just positive things about yourself but basically the tip is to love yourself completely which is kind of what we've already said in a way but that's like really how your personality really shines you really have to love yourself because that's how you can like accept yourself and be yourself without being afraid of what other people think. I think just take it in steps, you know, like don't do too much. Like if you really don't feel good about yourself, it's gonna take time. Yeah. And just like you have to, I think like sometimes, I think, oops, sorry, it's okay, <laughs> like sometimes we put a lot of effort into people more than ourselves yeah. so i think that also has to do with self-love and i think just all the time and effort that you put into different people if you put all that into yourself like, mm -hmm. like you just can't love other people so much and not love yourself it just doesn't work i find that the times that i am like not really vibing with people when I just I'm just sometimes I have these moods and I'm just like I just don't want to deal with people right now mm -hmm. those are usually the times when I need to take time to really love myself and like take care of myself and so you really can't love other people until that self-love is there mm -hmm. um and also I was gonna say like don't like put pressure on yourself and be like man like I'm not where I want to be in terms of loving myself yet that's something I struggled with like it, it takes time and mm -hmm. You like can't really just be like, I haven't made it far enough, so maybe I should just like, you know, just not. 
Like you have to keep going, you have to keep pushing. And I really think that that self-love really comes from like that identity again, like just knowing who you are because that's like knowing that you're unconditionally loved and accepted, like that's really how you can like begin to really like love yourself, see yourself the way that um, that God sees you and then that will just really help you like in your process. The next tip is to have a passion for life and don't take life too seriously. Have fun. It's okay to have fun. Mm -hmm. Working is important and stuff. It's important to work hard, but you have to give yourself an opportunity to have fun, and it's okay. Yeah, it, it's literally okay. Like you can take breaks sometimes. And I think with having a passion for life, it kind of just means like what drive, what drives you, like what gets you to wake up in the morning. Like, if you're laying in bed, what motivates you to get up? So there's obviously gonna have to be like some type of reason for you to want to get up. So I think just knowing something that you really love and you really want to develop. Am I making sense? I don't think so. <laughs> you're kind of making sense, kind of. Yeah. I think she's just kind of trying to say like find something that you're passionate about and pursue that and don't be afraid to have fun and like relax or if you need to you know take breaks then do that um life is short so just try to enjoy it as much as you can so yeah yeah okay so this tip is very 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 important okay <laughs> So this is to embrace your uniqueness, and that means no comparisons. No comparisons at all. Comparisons are the enemy of joy, of self-love, anything like that. Anything positive, like, comparisons are not good. Um, just embrace your uniqueness. Um, like, we, we're, we're unique and we've had to kind of struggle with our accepting ourselves the way that we are mm -hmm. we're still you know we're, we're still a work in progress all of us are but we've come a long way and we found that not comparing ourselves has helped a lot like even with the two of us like people compare us all the time to like find differences between us there's the pressure like oh she's the prettier twin or oh she's the more like blah 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 like people will say things like that yeah which like why <laughs> but, um, yeah so like even with ourselves like we've had to deal with like the comparisons and then like let's not even mention social media how that's been yeah. and like sometimes i can't even be on it too long or i just feel like i'm gonna go crazy because it's just too much mm -hmm. so you kind of have to take those times to just do things that are healthy for you i think that's kind of like just having a healthy lifestyle that will all be, that will definitely help you. Yeah. Um, One more thing, like honestly, it kind of goes back to the love yourself because literally, if you feel like you love yourself so much, like you are that girl, you are that guy, right. like you are it. So even when you see everyone else, it's not gonna phase you. It's gonna be like whatever. Like, like you don't have to like hate on them or nothing or like. Don't feel like you're better than anyone, mm -hmm. but you could just be like, yeah, she cute, but I'm cute, you know? Yeah. Like just, like, you're gonna feel so good about yourself that you're not even gonna want to compare yourself to anyone. Right, like, you're you for a reason. Like, there's right. a reason why you have the personality that you have, why you are the way you are. Mm -hmm. And you're you, you're special, so just, like, embrace it. Yeah. There's literally only one of you. Yeah. And I think sometimes we just, I know at least for me, I would sometimes want to try, like, there would be someone who has something, something that, that I want. Yeah. want, so then I try to, like, aim to be like that person. Which, like, if it comes to God, that's okay, but if it's, like, a person, like, if it's a trait, okay, but, like, just don't take it to the extreme, because you honestly have to just try to be a better version of yourself because there's only one you yeah and it's like there's gonna probably be like multiple people trying to be like this miss thing you know yeah like so many people are gonna try to be like her but there's only one of her exactly there's always gonna be only one of her 
Also kind of like related to that is like don't be fake just to fit into like a certain friend group or like to be liked by certain people. Like it just does not work. It's literally exhausting and it just It's like once you start you have to keep it up and then that gets yeah, tiring. Yeah, it's too it much. Don't do it. I've learned like yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Like just be who you are. And it's okay, like what Britt was saying earlier, like if you want a kind of change, like if you feel like you're changing, like, don't be afraid of that. Like I yeah. like I've experimented like with, you know, I don't, I don't want to say like, I don't know, but like if you want to branch out and like try new things, like don't be afraid to do that, but don't like, don't like try to do it just to be accepted yeah. by people. Or, as long as it's something that you actually want to do yeah. on your own, like if no one else was around you, you would still do it. Yeah. The last tip is not really a tip, but it's basically like you have a good personality. You already do. Yeah. Like you're good. You're, you're cool. We like you. <laughs> <laughs> basically, you already have a good personality. Like your personality is already a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. Just following all these tips will just help your personality be even better. And so, yeah, just um, enjoy who you are and. Hopefully if you apply these tips, you'll notice like you're feeling better about yourself and your personality is starting to look a little better. Mm -hmm. Also, don't be scared to be who you are. Don't yeah. be scared. Because I know like sometimes like if I'm around certain people, I might like not be my full self. And I don't know if that's just for me being an introvert. I don't know. I guess I just don't like to like fully express myself until I'm comfortable with when I'm around, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Though. Yeah, okay, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, I know what you're well, saying. Yeah, because sometimes you're in situations and you feel like you have to hold back because of who you're around, but like, I feel like sometimes it doesn't matter. Like, sometimes it's really just important to still be yourself, yeah, because if you like change yourself for people, and it's like, how are you loving yourself? But we love you guys. You guys have a good personality. We vibe with you. You guys are gonna be even better than you already are once yeah. you apply these tips. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of just what like the sparkler is about. Like we just want you guys to become like the best version of yourself, so that you can like go out into the world and like be amazing and like make a difference and all that. Yep. We want to see you guys on billboards. <laughs> <laughs> So with that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, man. And make sure that you have post notifications on so that whenever we have a new video, you will be the first ones to know. And we'll see you in the next video.